We'll start considering probability by using a naive definition of probability. We're going to argue that probability can be defined by symmetry. It's not the last word in terms of defining probability, but it gives us something to start building up some of the structures that we need to work with. And essentially, what we're going to say is that the probability of some event A, which we denote by small p, is given by the number of ways in which A can occur divided by the total number of things that can happen in the sample space. And perhaps we should have an illustration of this formula. So we'll start just by considering our six-sided die. So we have a die with numbers something like this. I've attempted to show the six sides and we could be interested in the event A um, that we throw a one. And as we can see, number of ways in which A can occur are equal to 1. And the number of things that can happen in the sample space are equal to 6. So the probability of A is given by 1 over 6. Maybe we should consider another example and this time let's consider the event uh, A that we throw an even number. So the number of ways in which we can throw an even number, well we could throw a 2, a 4 or a 6. So there are three ways of throwing an even number and as before there are six events in the sample space, so this is 3 over 6, or 1 half. So basically, that is a naive definition of probability. Uh, probability by symmetry sounds very simple, sounds too simple. We can worry about that at a later date, but this is enough for us to start building up an understanding of the construction of probability.